Hey guys, welcome. So you're welcome back. In this video, I'm just reposting part of the video from, from last time because there's a couple of things that were not as accurate as I stated. The first thing is the, the pitch. The pitch on takeoff and landing, especially the flare, is a little bit different than what I said. The pitch on takeoff is going to be 12 degrees AOA. So we're going to pitch for 12 and we're going to maintain that all the way throughout acceleration and the climb. Uh, as far as the landing, everything else is the same. When we come down to do the flare, instead of doing a minor flare to 10 degrees, I'm just going to slowly flare to 13 degrees pitch. That will give us a lot smoother touchdown. And then after touchdown, I'm just going to keep the nose up to about 15 degrees. And that will give us aerodynamic braking. Uh, the second thing that was pointed out to me was that takeoffs on the F1 are done with full flaps. Uh, I went back to my sources two pilots for the F1 they, they swore nope it's it's on uh, notch one for takeoffs the other person who claims as a pilot in the F1 said no it's done full flaps so whatever it is uh, I'm gonna do it both ways with half flaps full afterburner and 140 150 knots we're gonna pitch up to about 12 degrees AOA maintain that 12 degrees and let it lift off. It's going to lift off about 190, 195. Much better than 215 that was last time. So with half flaps, full weight, a max takeoff weight, the airplane is going to lift off about 190, 195. A lot more accurate than what it was before. Now if I do the same thing with full flaps, full afterburner, We're going to accelerate to about 140, 150 knots. They're going to pitch up, rotate. We're going to rotate again to 12 degrees. Maintain that 12 degrees and the airplane lift off a lot earlier, about 180, 185. So about 10 knots faster than with full flaps. So again, I did it both ways. I've gotten both informations and I'm sure everybody out there swears there's one way to do it. But I've showed both ways. Uh, last thing I want to do is just show you the, the landing, the flare and how it's done gonna come in same as same as yesterday uh, same power settings then instead of doing a small flare to 10 10 degrees I'm gonna flare up all the way to 13 degrees which is ideal a lot smoother touchdown and then we're gonna keep that nose up, up to about 13 to 15 degrees of AOA that aerodynamic braking just keep it there and let the nose drop on its own once it drops out on its own make sure you're on our center line and start braking and that was the kind of minor differences from the video I posted yesterday to some of the corrections that should be done when flying the F1. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care and I'll see you guys soon.